Secretary General Coleman, dear Matthias, dear participants, unfortunately, I cannot be with you in person today, but it's my great pleasure to join you, at least virtually, in the Digital Economy Ministerial. Today's gathering in Gran Canaria represents a special occasion. It allows us to reap the results of the excellent work carried out at the OECD over the course of the last years. Among the various deliverables that ministers adopt today, the Declaration on Government Access to Personal Data held by private sector entities is a particularly important one. It is a perfect demonstration of the quality and depth of our cooperation in this forum. We have all invested considerable time and efforts to achieve this outcome, and I believe this deserves to be recognized. Today marks the conclusion of a process that started more than two years ago. This is founded on our common desire to promote trusted cross-border data flows and draw a line towards authoritarian regimes that do not respect privacy, human rights, or the rule of law. I believe that our declaration on government access draws that line very clearly. As such, it sends a very important signal in these difficult times. The declaration shows what like-minded democracies can achieve when they engage constructively even on complex issues. The declaration strikes the delicate balance between privacy rights and national security needs. This is the first time at international level that countries from across the globe develop together a set of common principles for government access in the area of criminal law enforcement and national security. I'm proud that the European Commission, on behalf of the Union and its member states, has been among the strongest supporters of this process and that we have contributed to this successful outcome. As we have seen in a number of cases, disproportionate, abusive government access erodes trust in cross-border data transfers. This is what both civil society and business operators tell us. The principles for government access to personal data reflected in the declaration make an important contribution to promoting data free flow with trust. This concept was first introduced by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in his speech at the World Economic Forum back in 2019. We all owe him and all Japanese friends for starting this process. We had to overcome difficult moments, but having successfully overcome them makes the outcome all the more remarkable. Let me thank all of you on the panel for the spirit of compromise that has allowed us to get where we are today. Of course, none of this would have been possible without the outstanding work of the OECD Secretariat in steering this process and staying the course of the ship whenever the sea became rough. A big thank you thus goes to Secretary General Coleman and his team for its relentless support in the drafting group. I wish you a fruitful discussion today. Thank you very much.